Good morning and welcome back to another singing session, singing songs in praise of God and thanking him for all that he has done for us. The first song that we will sing today has been requested by Mrs. Mariam Mascaria. She worked with my father in British Council, Calcutta, and she's chosen a beautiful song written by Francis Ridley Havergal, who was born in 1836. Now, Francis was an unusually gifted young person. She was the daughter of a church rector, and though she was born in England, she studied in schools both in England and in Germany. She loved learning, and she became an able scholar. She became proficient in both Hebrew and Greek, and apart from that, she was a very talented singer and pianist. However, the most important part of her ability, which she recognized, was her ability to write. And so it was her deepest desire of her heart to write pieces that would spiritually influence others. She used her writing skills to compose prose and poetry that would always benefit those who read her pieces. Unfortunately, Havigal suffered from poor health and she died very young, only 42. But in those brief years, the Lord used her mightily and her ministry, her writing has impacted people during her time. In fact, some of her songs are sung even today. Now, Auntie Mariamma chose the song, Take My Life and Let It Be. But what inspired Havagal to write this song in the first place? Frances recounted that one day she took it upon herself to visit a family and she stayed with them for five days. There were 10 people in that household. Some of them were Christians, but they lacked the joy and the love for the Lord. Others in the household were unconverted, but she had prayed for this family for a long time. That evening, she prayed to the Lord, Lord, give me all the people in this household. And the Lord answered her prayers. He did just that. Before she left the house, every single family member received a special blessing and consecrated their lives to the Lord. On the last night of her visit, Havagul recounted, that she was so happy that she couldn't sleep. She passed most of the night in praise and renewed her own life, consecrated it to the Lord. And as she did so, these little couplets formed themselves and chimed in her heart one after the other till she finished with the lines, ever only all for thee. In her own words, this hymn of consecration is where Frances committed all her possessions, her very being to the Lord, to be used for his honor, glory, and to work for him. And I think it should be our prayer as well, that we ask the Lord to use us so that we can touch those around us. So I'll invite you to please sing this song with us. Take my life and let it be. Let
Thank you, Auntie Mariamma, for choosing this beautiful prayer of consecration. I know I want to make it my own, and I do hope you do too. God bless and take care.